one more little YouTube true crime tip for saying everything else. I came across this commercial on YouTube as I was watching something the other night. And yes, I was very, very heated when um, the commercial ended. <clears throat> and I would like to share my thoughts on this because you know, I think this is uh, very disgusting and, well, you know, and damn it, what's going on here? I was having my damn thing shut off. I lost my little thing. There it is, a little window. Oh, we're looking for that. Anyways, I was just... <clears throat> just agitated. You know, knowing that this app exists. And it's a program. And, um... You know, back in, um, 2016, 2017... Uh... I remember asking, uh, calling the government, mind you. And not only calling the government, I also would like to throw under the bus here, you know, 1-800-CARS-FOR-KIDS. You know, two, uh, you know, there was a person I knew back in the mid-90s that said their parents came here and immigrated, you know. And, you know, I'm not <clears throat> one to complain about illegals. And I mean, immigrants, but I do complain about illegals. Because you know, immigrants that come here and do it the right way, and they gotta wait many years to become a citizen, or yet they gotta marry somebody. You know, it ain't right when illegals come in here and just get stuff handed in to them for free. I'm sorry. I do not like illegal stuff being done. I hail the immigrants. I do give them full respect for do what they do legally, but when they do it illegally, hey, you know, it, it's got to end. And this kind of infuriates me, the simple fact that, right, they're talking about further your career or in, earn your degree. Now, I know for a fact I don't need to further my career. All I need for my career to kick off is that extra little loan. And like I said, I did try asking for a loan, you know, because I knew someone, like I said, I've known quite a few people saying that they immigrated here and got money to start a business, 10, 20 grand. It's like, wow. <laughs> so, you know, I try to ask for that and I would pay it back once my you know, and that's what everybody struggles, is the money to get the loan to start a business. And everybody says it, and I've heard people talk about, you know, you need money to loan money to make a business. Yeah, no kidding. And, you know, it, it's just disturbing when right illegals come in, and I'm sorry, there are some illegals that just get it handed to them. And what they're doing now with this program even makes me more affiliated because I can further my career if I could get this money. And it's like, I'm going to read through this, of course. I screenshot what it says, pretty much the main thing. And I also tried going through, right? You, you think you're, don you're getting a donated vehicle through 1-800-CARS-FOR-KIDS? Now, I don't know where they get off using cars for kids in their slogan, but I can show you right now that it does not go to kids. And if it does, their parents have to do something to get that cars for kids. And it's like, wow, really? So what I did was, you know, I did call the government, my government, not the main government, but I, I mean, I tried the government where I live in Massachusetts. Well, we don't do that. 
And I was telling them I heard about this stuff, and, oh, we don't know about that. Of course, they're going to say that, right? And, um, and then I wanted to start. I mean, I had the business, but I needed a new truck. So I called up cars for kids, and you're thinking, oh, geez, they're donating cars to families with kids, right? So I called up and said, hey. <clears throat> but I even said this. I said, hey, would you guys be able to donate me a truck so I can start my business back up? Because my truck just had broke down. You know, when I did start my business, I only had enough money to buy the truck that I could get. And mind you, I had a bitch of a time. Not only getting the truck, but getting it on the road. And, you know, this friggin' guy I bought it from had a lien on it. I didn't know. He didn't pay off the remaining bill. And it was all kind of a mess, right? And when that truck finally went, because... Not only did he sell me a truck that I had problems registering, he sold me a truck that had a cracked friggin' um, ah, shit, spring mount busted through the thing, and then it cracked the frame, and the guy was like, oh, you can get that welded. So I brought it to another buddy of mine that can weld, and he said, I ain't touching that. No one would touch it. You know, I am calling cars, okay, my thing went through, the spring went through this, it went through the bed, and just, you know, I got this, and this is all I can afford. And what does the guy tell me? We don't, we don't give cars, we don't donate them. They go up for auction. It's like, auction, what the f I was like, are you serious right now? You're going to sit there and tell me you get vehicles, and not only that, cars for kids that are accepting property and boats? Oh, yeah, I'm sure you get a deduction or a big tax break deduction, but I guarantee you it ain't a lot. And they say they give out vacation vouchers. I bet you them vacation vouchers, you have to pay the remaining balance on it or something stupid like that, right? Oh, my God, I couldn't believe my ears. But yet you, I hear that commercial still to this day. Oh, we took property and boats and cars for kids. How many kids do you really think get them cars when they're being auctioned off? And if parents can't afford an auction, how the hell are they getting them cars? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a great method out there. And, you know, here I am trying to, you know, make money. And I even told this guy, I'll pay you back what you friggin' donate me. I'll pay it. Nope. Can't do it. Even on the other thing I asked, you know, I'd pay, I'd try and pay it back as soon as I start kicking up for work. Pay it back. Nope. The loan thing. I'll pay it back. Nope. Can't do it. I was like, what the f Oh, my God. So if you throw out there, you'll pay it back, and but you don't get it. And then you see commercials like this. It's like... Wow, what is really going on here? So as you can see, further your career, how further my career? Housing, groceries, gas, and more. The best part is the money you get does not need to be paid back. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Whoa! Doesn't need to be paid back, huh? Where was this program years ago? And not only that, I'm sure you will crap your pants when you, oh, and, and like I said, this is on YouTube. You can see skip ad, visit advertiser. Now, if they got this up running and if it's a scam, shouldn't YouTube be not running this kind of commercial? Because these people are claiming you can get 36 thousand dollars to further your career thirty six thousand dollars to earn a degree and you don't have to pay it back hmm really so if i want to mastermind a plan to keep my or to get my youtube channel more campaigning which is what you really need to do to have a channel 
reach, you know, breaking point is you got to pay a campaign fee. You know, there's always a catch. Even though you can open up a YouTube channel for free, even though now, I mean, when I did it, the monetization, yeah, I had to bust that. It took a year and a half. It took me, you know, by the cents to make a $10 um, thing to open up my YouTube monetization. $10, yeah, another $10, I don't know, it was something crazy like that. And then, right, when I did get up there, monitor, oh, now you can start campaigning and add scenes and add this and advertise. And it's like, but you got to pay for campaigning. It's like, wow, really? I did all this just to find out that, right, YouTube makes you pay campaigning. But damn, if I could get $36,000 to further my career, oh man, and not pay it back. But let me find out right when I tap on this website if it ever comes back up. Hold on, let me see that um, I get scammed and uh, someone uses my name or something, right? <laughs> oh man. But how do you like that? If people are getting this amount amount of money, why why can't I get this money to further my career? Because I'll tell you, I got a lot of places to go. I got a lot of things I want to do and talk about, you know? Damn it. And what I do on my channel is I try and bring is the much legit stuff. To you, I've been getting some cool comments from people, man. I mean, hey, if they're looking up to me like some help or I could help someone feel better about themselves, hey, that's what this channel's for, too. Whatever it may cover, I cover. You know, I'm just here to, you know, because I got a lot of information in my head that I think needs to be out there and I can help people get through some things <laughs> that's right if you look through my history of my channel you'll see a lot of things that I brought forth and there's going to be a lot more things coming forth because I mean yeah I'm, I'm in this hole right now trying to get my head out of my butt and it doesn't help man either when you're uh, down in the gutter and he keep getting kicked down there and it's like oh man but to see commercials like this come up and to see that i asked to do better in my life and upgrade my life and try and do things whether it be a youtube channel or me doing a damn you know collecting rubbish or doing clean outs what i'm good at or doing lawn, lawn, lawn mowing for people shoveling whatever you know i like doing this stuff keeps you in shape love doing this stuff because you know people sometimes need it i've done for them i like to help but i also like to do videos man because there's a lot of stuff out there that's a miswritten history is miswritten misread and I like to straighten out, like I'm already trying to straighten out the Native American stories because, you know, they're all talked about as savages and they weren't no different than me and you back in the day. They weren't no different from you getting something stolen off your property or in your house being robbed and you want it back and you want justice sir. You know, there's a lot of things out there that's miswritten in time. And I like to correct that my way. A lot of things out there need be ghost hunting. <laughs> so, I mean, seeing these damn commercials come up, man, it just really irritates me. $36,000. And read it and weep. Does not need to be paid back. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Well, when this commercial happens to come up again, which I'm sure it will, let's see if I get that loan and not have to pay it back, because 
I got some things, boy, that I need to do. And one of them is, that's right, bringing this the old YouTube channel on the road, folks. Solving some mysteries. Checking on history. Hell, throwing in there the funniest stuff I can figure out to do. Everything is covered on this channel. If I haven't covered it yet, see if I can. So let me know, because I'll do that too. Other than that, if anybody sees this on YouTube, and is willing to try it, which I'm going to try it next time, I just wanted to document it first, because, right, how good is this program? Or is it just a fake? Always something out there to throw up in your face. And when you got to sit there and say like, wow, I've been trying and struggling. And, you know, when you freaking got your head up your butt like me. And you're trying every day to come up with new ideas. And nothing's working. But yet this comes out. It's like, wow. Friggin' wow. <laughs> I'll see if this works. If not, I'll be throwing something down for a lawsuit, that's for sure. False advertisement. But until the next video, folks. Be safe, take care, and <laughs> hopefully this damn commercial I tap on next time works for me. Yeah, that's right, $36,000. What do you think of that? Does not need to be paid back, hmm? Wow. Unbelievable. Ow.